Hey guys, it's Bang from Up PC Gaming here. About to finally complete the installation of the Kraken G10 from NZXT with the Corsair H90. Now, the thing about the AMD R9 290 reference is that it does have 16 RAM chips on the PCB, so I did order some additional heat sinks to provide that cooling. And they finally turned up, and wouldn't you know, one's missing, so. I put a complaint in to the retailer um, so hopefully I'll get a partial refund because I do have one spare just to get the job done so what I'm going to do is put all of these RAM heat sinks, they're copper with adhesive uh, material at the back and just um, cover these heat, these RAM chips so I can reduce the heat from operation okay guys this is the final result all of the RAM chips have been connected and it looks okay obviously that one blue one here is a bit of an eyesore but it's of real no consequence because once the Kraken G10 bracket and the Corsair H90 are connected this whole area is pretty much hidden anyway so it's not going to be an aesthetic um, problem for myself personally all I care about is it's just keeping the temperature of the memory chips in check and possibly allow me to do a bit of memory overclocking as well so we shall see the results right now I'm just going to leave it to dry for a few a few hours then I'll connect back the Corsair H90 so I'll just be playing with my GTX 1080 um, for a few hours and I'll let you guys know what the results are So this is the final result of the NZXT Kraken G10 mounted on the reference R9290. Same position as last time as you can see I've mount, I've again put the radiator in the floor of the case. Uh, it just allows me to easily remove and uh, put the graphics card back in rather than mount it at the rear of my system. As this is only my spare card and I will be putting back in the 1080 in the coming days so it looks pretty good let's just put it through these paces again hopefully I'll get improved results okay guys time for the retest I'll be using 13 millivolts on the core voltage power limit will be at 50% and the core clock will be at 1060 megahertz while the memory is at 1300 megahertz so nothing too crazy aim is to keep the VRM um, temperatures under 100 degrees and the GPU temperature under 65 degrees so to help me with that I'm going to be using Unigen Valley and this is at 1080p maxed out and I'm going to run this for 15 minutes and see just how the temperatures respond So the 15 minutes are up and I'm pretty happy with the results, a big difference from the first time I tested. So we had a maximum of 85 degrees on VRM1, on VRM2 we had a maximum of 67 degrees which is very very safe. Uh, the maximum GPU temperature was 60 degrees which is um, 5 degrees cooler than 
um, what I had last time, which is good. So what I realized in my last test was my Corsair H90 pump wasn't actually at maximum speed and my VRM um, fan as well wasn't also at maximum. So I've corrected that this time and it seems to be um, helping a big deal as well. So um, it goes without saying this R9290 is definitely not the best overclocking card. It's actually one of the worst overclocking cards I've ever had. But it does the job, um, especially as my spare card. It's now silent in operation and um, it remains considerably cooler. So I'm very, very happy with the results. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully you've all enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.